And now we start with James Bond. We have for the beginning something we should check out just on one string without any uh, fingers because we have a pattern here which we should check out first. So we have actually just down strokes, but we have one up stroke going on here. So let me show you. So it's down, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay? Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Just open string. And if you want to have the real James Bond sound, play it right next to the bridge. this really edgy sound going on here. So down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 one and a two, three, one, and four, and one and a two, and four and Try to build up the speed if you're an advanced player, because in the end it's something like... This upstroke really needs to be fluid, you know, it's kind of like... See, my hand is kind of like moving in, the, in a... Da, 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 down up, down up, down up, down up movement. And that makes it easier in the higher tempo to be like... prepared doing that upstroke. So now let's come to the fretting hand. This is the first part. So it's oh two 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 oh 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 okay so one time open string and then second fret with the index finger and on the last three down strokes we have again the open string oh two 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 oh 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 that's the first part the second part is oh three 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 two 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 okay second part oh three 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 combine both parts and make them one. Oh, two, 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 two. Oh, 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 three, 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 three. Two, 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 again, one. Sorry, <laughs> talking and playing at the same time. Okay, let's do it again and play this in a loop because we will need that part a couple of times. Three, four. Oh, two, two, two. Instead of at the end of the third time repeating all the th whole thing, we play not three times second fret, we play two, one, oh. Okay? So the third time we play, we do oh, two, two, two. the 
first fret of the D string, and then the open D string, and then 2-0-2 on the A string. So it's 1-0-2-0-2. So the whole thing goes like this. Try to, to play it a little bit more towards the bridge. You know that creepy Star Wars theme? start in the second fret of the D string with the index finger and just play everything with down strokes, okay? Three times, but don't play it like letting it ring. Play it. How do you do that? You do that by, when you, when you play it the first time, you just lift your finger a tiny little bit, you release the pressure from the string, the note dies. And additionally, I also mute the string with my picking hand. So you have... Get that one done first, okay? You do that three times then. Then in the third fret of the A string with the middle finger, and then in the fifth fret with the pinky, on the D string and back to the second fret of the D string and again three five two okay two 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 three five two three five two maybe if you have trouble with this just start by doing a dry exercise you see this the stretch I have to do here okay you can only achieve that by bringing your thumb like on the back of the neck and have a really open the hand position here, something like this. Because if you're having your hand, your wrist kind of like in a, in a weird position or the thumb up here or something like this, this might be really hard to get the pinky in position. And that way it's kind of like a classical approach there. But for melodies and solo, this is pretty common too. You might also see me play with the thumb over uh, around the neck on the fretboard. That's also a common technique for other stuff. But for now, please stick to this kind of technique. Okay, and repeat that. Just everything down strokes. Also, if you get that into your finger memory, also focus on your picking hand because you have to like mute and change between two strings and stuff. This can be kind of, kind of tricky in the beginning. Then the second part starts on the fourth fret of the G string. Again, three times with this kind of like stopped note after a while. And don't play it ringing out. It's more. Then after three times you go into the fifth fret with the pinky. Then the open G string. So it's four, 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 five, oh. Okay. And then after the open string, you go to the first fret of the D string. And then to the 3rd fret A string, 5th fret D string, and 2nd fret D string. It's kind of like repeating the phrase. So it's 4, 4, 4, 5, oh, 1, 3, 5, 2. Again.
again the second part four 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 five oh one three five two four 